ready to go um got just quickly got ready did a little quick blow dry to me hair the weather is cooling down a little bit in australia my brother always makes fun of me for that because he lives in like the midwest of america where it's actually freaking cold um and he this would be like summer balmy weather to him but anyways i need a jacket um, because now I am a warm weather princess, um, having been living in Australia for the past like 12 years. Um, so yeah, cheers brother. Just like, oh my god, I don't even know what to do right now. Ah, I'm like actually standing here a little bit like frozen, a little bit petrified. You think I would be used to spiders by now, living in Australia, but I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Just got back from my little coffee catch up. That was really cute. Just had a nice little matcha. Um, but yeah, I am quite hungry <laughs> now. So I think I'm just gonna start making lunch. Got a little bit of kimchi here. So I think what I'm gonna do is chop up some of that and do kind of like almost a kimchi fried rice kind of situation. Love kimchi fried rice. And this is not, this is obviously like a very whitewashed version of kimchi. It's not authentic, <laughs> but that's all right. It's still tasty. Still got that good fermentation. So I have this leftover fish that I meal prepped the other day. Um, it's literally just paprika, mixed herbs. So I'm gonna throw that in. And fish is a really great low calorie source of protein. So, tis a win win. Basically, pan frying that until the rice gets nice and crispy and the fish gets warmed up. Bunch of greens. Bunch of pre shredded spinach and kale. Move that to the side. That's my egg. I used to make fried rice like almost every single week when I was growing up, actually. Like, because I used to cook for my family, <laughs> like my dad and my brother. You know, now I am quite grateful for it just because it's my life. I love cooking. So funny, right? The things that actually we view as great burdens when we are children turn into huge blessings when we're adults. I mentioned it in a different video, which is like one of my little shorts that I did, that like I like to have a bunch of pre-prepped components in the fridge. So I had the pre-cooked rice, I had the fish already made, and then everything else was just like super easy to throw together. So like this literally took like 10 minutes to make. It's like still really hot. <laughs> Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 
that kimchi adds a nice little kick. Anyways, I'm going to finish this off. Probably going to do a little bit of Duolingo <laughs> while I eat my lunch. Okay, so I don't know if anyone else gets this, but after something like super savory, I always need something sweet. So I've got this little, it's this like soy yogurt, Greek style soy yogurt. And it's like, it's got 8.4 grams of protein per serve, which is pretty solid. Not too shabby at all. Um, and this is the one that has like, it's like lemon flavored. I'm obsessed. It literally kind of is giving lemon tart, you know? Lemon tarts used to be like my favorite dessert growing up. Mm. I used to make them all the time. I just like almost eat the whole thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. The things we used to eat when we had a high school metabolism. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work. I have been editing for the past two hours just on my walk-in treadmill. Getting a little bit hungry and suddenly it was like, all I could think about was just, I need a snack. <laughs> I've been on this journey of intuitive eating for a while now. Obviously, I would try and starve myself or I would overeat. I actually have had like a history of binge eating and having, like, I used to have an eating disorder and I feel like maybe that's a video later on down the track. Um, let me know if you are curious though, um, because now I genuinely do find a lot of freedom in food. Like I remember a while ago, there was a time when I wouldn't even have anything to do with oil or sugar. Like if there was sugar in the ingredient list, I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. I used to think mayo was like a devil food. Like I literally would not touch mayo. If anything had mayo on it, I wouldn't eat it. I used to order sushi and specifically request that they make it without the mayo. Um, I just have so much fear with all these like foods. And so now I kind of just listen to my body and listen to what it wants. Um, being a female, we have so many hormones all the time. It's really joyous. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a little smoothie. scary color that's what I get for combining greens powder with berries but you know it's kind of like a really nice aesthetic gray I suppose it may seem like my diet is my diet is like restrictive and by diet I just mean my style of eating not that I'm on a diet I don't actually like diets I think that they are really restricting I feel like people associate diets with just quick weight loss which isn't sustainable. I can go on that spiel forever. Um, it's about a healthier lifestyle choice. And the truth is I like being fit. I like feeling healthy. I like feeling strong. I like feeling my body with lots of greens and veggies um, and fruits and healthy things like fiber, um, good fats, carbs, etc. Yes, I have like fitness goals. I have aesthetic goals in terms of like what I want my body to look like. I feel like I've come to a healthier place where my aim isn't just to be skinny anymore. I want to be lean. Yes, of course, but I also want to be strong, you know, and have like a lot of lean muscle. Yes, of course, I like treat myself all the time. Like when we want to go out for dinner, there's nothing I love more than a good wood fire pizza. I do love chips, like I love fries, but of course I don't eat them every single day because they're full of saturated fat and they're not very good for you. So I will eat them occasionally. Uh, so when I crave something, I will go out and eat it because I fuel my body with good and healthy food. I don't have those cravings very often because my body's satisfied, my body is satiated. Um, and I feel strong and I feel good. I, f I don't feel bloated anymore. I've gotten rid of all my bloating problems. <laughs> Thank God. I used to struggle a lot with bloating. I feel like I've been yabbering on for quite some time now. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to end this spiel. Um, 
and get back to work.